Okay, hi, it's JB from JB Light YouTube. Um, listen, I am just uh, just wanted to show you guys um, what I bought. It's a Creus Bluetooth module. And look, it's, uh, I got it from Good Luck Buy. And I just wanted to try to connect it to my quadcopter, my multi Wii uh, controller. And you'd think it'd be really easy to do, but actually it's not. Um, what you've got to do is actually flash it, um, or you've got to convert it to to run on um, 11 5 200 board speed. It actually only comes programmed to run at the 9600 board speed, which doesn't work with the multi Wii controller board. So how funny is that? It's a um, it's a Bluetooth module that doesn't actually work unless you program it. Okay, so what I've decided to do is use this um, Rem Zibi programmer which is basically just a, a USB to TTL board. It all sounds a little bit funky, but the only way you can program this thing is to plug it directly into the USB port. You can't connect to it with, with Bluetooth to do the actual programming. Basically, you just got to connect up the voltages um, to the 5 volt on the board. Um, you've got to give it a ground, and you've just got to get your TX and RX around the right way, so I've connected the the TX from the Bluetooth module to the RX of the TTL USB dongle so that they could actually talk to each other and obviously the RX to the TX. Okay, so what I could do now is, is plug it in. Okay, and basically that's all I'm trying to do is plug this thing into USB and get it to talk. You can see it has power and it's flashing. So flashing means it's not connected but it has got power. Okay, what I'm going to do now is go to the control panel okay um, we'll go to devices and we can see there that this USB to serial module is on COM6 okay so I'll tell you why that's important um, because I'm gonna run PuTTY and we just need to configure it okay I'll try to give you a link to PuTTY but you should be able to find it uh, we're going to run that. Okay, we're going to select serial. And we're just going to go to the options. Okay, which are down here. Serial. And we've just got to make sure we're, we're connecting to COM6. Okay, so I'll change that to COM6. Everything else you should be able to leave as it is. Um, so we open the port. Okay. Now if we type in the command AT, just using the keyboard, uppercase I assume, it comes up with the word OK. So that's how you know you've, you've actually connected. Okay. Now what you need to do here is if you start typing these uh, AT commands to change say the name and the board rate, um, it actually doesn't let you do it. So what you've got to do is copy this into memory. Okay, so we'll, we'll um, copy that, which control uh, control C. Now, what I'm doing here is um, I'm sending it to name the BT adapter as Quad. Okay, so I'm just changing the name of it. I think it's called HC07 or something at the moment. Now, you can't do Control V, right, to paste. What you've got to do is the um, the right mouse button. So let's have a look at this, and I'm going to name it. Okay, so I press the right mouse button and it says set name. I'll type AT again and it says OK. Alright, so now what we want to do is change the speed to um, 11.5.200. So to do that you type in this command, AT plus board 8. So again I'll copy that with Control C. I'll click into this window and I'm going to press the right mouse button. Alright, and it says OK 11.5.200. So now we know it's changed speed and we know now it should be able to talk to the multi Wii controller. Okay, I'll just close this down and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to turn on the control now and I'm going to try plugging. Well, we'll put the power on. Okay. And look, I've, I've reconfigured the wiring so that we've got the right um, 
positive and negative, we're getting the power and we're getting the TX and the RX um, signals in. Okay, so you're gonna to need to refer back to your, uh, you know, to your board. In my case, it's, it's a homemade multi-wheel board. It uses the Arduino Pro Mini and I've just marked the ground. So I will plug this in now. This is the first time I'm gonna use this. And as you can see, we have power and we have a flashing red LED, which means that everything's going good, but it's just not connected yet, okay? All right, so I'll just let that hang over on the side. I'm gonna fire up the multi-wii configuration app, okay, which you can download from um, Google Live. It's a free application. And just let that fire up. Yes, it's a very slow phone. Now, I'll just go into the settings and I will have a look here, settings, select BT device. Um, yes, so basically that turns on the Bluetooth. Um, I'm going to try to connect. So I'm going to go here, connect. Woohoo! Okay, you may not have seen that, but have a look at this. We have a solid red light, everyone. Solid red light. Okay, we are connected. Oh my God. Did you see that? Okay, all the values have been loaded in. Okay, what does that mean? It means that we are now talking directly to the multi wii controller. So if we wanted to change the, um, the P value or the I value or D value, we don't have to bother plugging it into a laptop anymore. Okay, so I've just connected up with the um, multi wii and using Bluetooth and you can see the settings there are 3.2 uh, p-value for roll and pitch um, what I'm going to do is just fly a little bit you can have a bit of a look it's quite windy and um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll actually change the p-value and see what happens It's not too bad, it's fairly stable. Um, you know, considering the wind, it's actually doing not bad. Okay. Now I'll change this to, to five. Five. And that one to Five and I'll write that. Okay, we'll just read it just in case. Okay, so it seems to have stored it. Now we're going to take off with a p value of five. You can see now it's really uh, it's really unstable. It just doesn't like it at all. I think this is one of the coolest thing about the um, the Bluetooth adapter with the multi wii Probably just allowing you to be able to connect up and monitor the um, the quad while it's actually flying, and um, hopefully it should make it a lot easier to make those fine-tuning adjustments. Enjoy.